Well, tonight, a new plea from the devastated father of a University of Baltimore student who was murdered in Canada. The father fears more people could die if the killers aren't caught. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in Glen Burnie where the victim lived with the emotional interview. Mike? Now, this is a young man with his entire life ahead of him. His family is heartbroken. Broken. They are hoping that police can make some arrests. And I talked to the lead detective in Canada today. He's confident they will. I'm in Belize. University of Baltimore student Julian Jones loved life. He loved to travel. But his trip to Toronto, an international getaway for a friend's bachelor party, would be his last. My son didn't come back um, from the hands of these folks who did something selfish. His father, Tobias, and brother Justin are trying to understand why someone would beat Julian and leave him to die outside a bar. He believed in people. He believed people would be as good to him as he would be to them. And, and you know, it's, and these people killed him. Police in Canada say they have clear surveillance video of the group of men behind the vicious, unprovoked attack, but have yet to make any arrests. Shock and outrage is, is, is a word that I would use. Um, I'm outraged that uh, this is how we treat visitors to our city. We are one of the safest uh, big cities in North America, and we pride ourselves on that. It's hard. There. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he, he was a beautiful person, and his heart was beautiful, and he wanted to change the world. Julian was just 26. He would have graduated and gotten married next year. His loved ones say his killers must be brought to justice. They'll kill other people, no doubt in my mind. You know, it's a selfish, selfless act. They did it for no reason, just because they didn't have anything else to do. Tobias Jones also recently lost his wife at this point. He doesn't know whether he will make it to Canada. Now, police tell us they simply want to ask the people behind this why they have some big questions about motive in this case. Live in Glen Burnie, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Mike. Now, the family has yet to finalize memorial services.